Hey, it's uh, Anna. I am looking at a collection of a lovely species of mushroom. Uh, this is Hygrophorus russula, and uh, it's kind of an unusual mushroom species for a few reasons. It is pretty common in cold weather. Um, you know, we're in mid-December in the North Carolina Piedmont, and so a lot of the mycelium in the mushrooms have gone to sleep for the year, but Hygrophorus russula is one of the most, you know, striking and beautiful uh, fall winter species we have have. Um, so I will show you how to identify it to start. Um, to my knowledge, this doesn't have a common name, and Hygrophorus russula is actually a very confusing Latin name, because Hygrophorus is a genus that um, is inclusive of a lot of mushrooms that are called waxy caps, and there's a ton of them, and they're very beautiful. A lot of them are very colorful. Uh, so Hygrophorus is a genus that contains waxy caps. Russula, on the other hand, is another genus that is like 750 species of mushrooms that are cap and stem mushrooms that often look a lot like this. So essentially, Hygrophorus russula is sort of like saying this is the guinea pig that looks like a rabbit. So um, at some point, I bet we're going to have uh, a different species name, but um, that said, you know, uh, I think the easiest thing to um, remember about this species is that if you're getting into mushroom hunting, chances are you become familiar familiar with uh, russula mushrooms. They're very common, they're very colorful, they grow with pine, and so um, in the North Carolina Piedmont you find them just stinking everywhere. Uh, Hygrophorus russula has a lot of the similar coloration and uh, features perfect example features of russula. So uh, russula mushrooms are oftentimes a little bit brittle. They fall apart pretty easily. They have sort of a stumpy, uh, you know, stem and a cap that can go just sort of like in any sort of growth pattern that it just feels like. So it's a little bit on the uh, erratic side of things. Um, also, the gills are sort of this whitish color, and uh, you know, waxy caps, oftentimes this is a very, very waxy surface, very buttery smooth, uh, but in the case of Hygrophorus russula, it is not. So calling it a waxy cap, like, it, it is um, calling it what its relatives are, but it doesn't really match up with the actual features. Uh, that said, this mushroom is a little bit more like stable and uh, sturdy than a russula mushroom would be um, because, you know, they are very brittle and fall apart quite easily. That one had sustained a little bit of, um, you know, insect damage, but if I play with this a little bit, you know, it, it has a little more, um, you know, sturdiness to it. Uh, so Hygrophorus russula, the, the main distinguishing features are this color, so it's a really beautiful sort of um, mulberry, uh, you know, pinkish color. It's oftentimes also very streaky. That's the thing that I really like about them. This is a great example. So you get these sort of like stained, streaky areas of darker coloration and lighter coloration. Gills are white and, uh, you know, they are a little bit on the deep and blade-like side. They are also a little bit, um, you know, brittle in the way that a russula is, but not quite as much. Um, and so, you know, that, that's a feature to kind of give you a sense of things. As the mushrooms age, you will also very frequently see the white gills start to develop some uh, pink staining as well. Um, to my knowledge, these aren't edible. I just love finding them because they're so beautiful. Um, a lot of times they also grow in moss beds, and so this sort of like striking pinkish color on uh, green moss always is pleasing to the eye. So um, yeah, good cool weather mushroom, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to recognize the um, hygrophorus mushroom that looks like a russula mushroom.